already at part 8 of the value of veterinary medicine. I hope you've been getting value from it and you've been learning something different. Today we're going to discuss about the whole idea of out of hours provision, emergency callouts. Did you know that UK is the only country in the world that requires vet practices to provide 24 7 emergency cover? This means that if you ring your vet out of hours, they're obliged to provide some form of emergency service, whether it is done by them in house or by another practice, which means they've contracted the out of hours service out to someone else. If you were in Australia and own a vet practice when they shut at 5 pm, at 5 01 pm, your phone rings, it's no longer your problem. Isn't that interesting? Provision of our out of hours cover has caused and is causing issues in practices. It means that vets have to go on a rota or pay another practice if possible or if possible to provide the out of hours cover. I come from an era where I resign to be on call for the rest of my life because I had chosen to be a vet. But that's just me. There are plenty of others who would rather not work after their opening hours. I consider myself a fairly chill out person. And when I'm on call, I'm still able to do what I want to do, bar drinking and going too far away, without feeling I'm on call. However, I know of colleagues who get extremely stressed being on call. I've got a friend who Every time she does an on-call, the day after, she is knackered. I ask, whoa, okay, how was your on-call last night? Is it busy? Do you get call-outs? Do you get plenty of telephone calls? And uh, she would reply, uh, no. Uh, no phone calls at all. I was baffled. I was like, why are you so tired then? Because, and she replies, and because when I'm on-call, I can't do anything. I literally sit by the phone. I don't go for a shower. I can't do anything. I'm not saying that's right, but I'm just saying that, you know, different people have different personalities and sometimes the whole idea of being on call can completely take over the entire evening. So how do you measure the value of that? That very, very dedicated vet to say that, okay, I'm on call right now, I have to be on call. I know you don't call a vet out of hours, out of for fun, but the vet is on call there for you. It doesn't change the fact. So when a vet tells you that a value is passed on to you, as a pet owner, is the fact that she is ready on standby for you to call her at any time you need her. Are you grateful? Or do you simply say, I'm not one who will call a vet out in the middle of the night? Just remember that just because you're not thinking of calling your vet out does not mean your vet is not ready for you. No one, no one sets out planning to call the vet in the middle of the night. That to me is where the value lies. That is, we are ready for you to call us out, whether you know or think you need to or not. Most people do not pay any extra for this facility. Will you? Should you? So, in my, so my suggestion is that if your vet still provides their own out of hours service, please do go in, thank them and show some appreciation, especially if you're not paying any extra for it. They will be really grateful for that. Just acknowledge it, say thank you very much for providing out of our service. I'm not called you out yet, but I might in future, but just thank you very much for being on call. If they're not providing the out of our service and have contracted it out, please understand and appreciate that it is usually out of need to do so to ensure a better work-life balance for the veterinary team. I hope you found it useful. I look forward to see you at the next live event. This is Amity.